Welcome to this Excel tutorial. We'll explore three methods to manage leading zeros in your data. We'll start by learning how to keep leading zeros using the Format Cells feature. Then, we'll discover how to remove leading zeros using Excel's built-in functions. Finally, we'll dive into a more advanced approach by converting to numbers using VBA code. Let's begin by exploring each method in detail. Let's begin by learning how to keep leading zeros using the Format Cells feature in Excel. This method allows you to preserve leading zeros in your data, ensuring consistency and accuracy. Follow along as we demonstrate the steps to Format Cells to retain leading zeros. Assuming that you have a list of zip codes in your worksheet, and when you type the zip codes that contains leading zeros, the Excel will truncate the leading zeros automatically by default. Such as, you try to type a zip code like 00010086 in a cell, and it will change to 10086. If you want to keep the leading zeros as you type in a cell, you need to change the cell format to text before you type the zip code number. Let's refer to the following steps. Select the range of cells that you want to type the zip codes that contain leading zeros. Right-click on the selected range, select Format Cells from the pop-up menu. The Format Cells window will appear. Switch to the Number tab, then choose Text from the Category list. Click OK button. You can see that the leading zeros are retained in the selected cells after applying the custom format. You will see a small green triangle in the top left corner of the cells with leading zeros. It indicates there are some errors with the cell contents. If you want to remove it, you need to select the cells, then click the warning sign, next to click Ignore Error from the pop-up menu. There is another way to keep leading zeros as you type. You just need to insert an apostrophe in front of the number you type. And the apostrophe character will not be displayed in the cell, but Excel will treat the contents of the cell as text format. Now, let's explore how to remove leading zeros using Excel's built-in functions. This method provides a simple and efficient way to clean up your data by stripping away unnecessary leading zeros. Follow these steps to remove leading zeros using Excel functions. Select a destination range where you want to display the cleaned up data without leading zeros. In the first cell of the destination range, enter the formula, equals value, A1, replace, A1, with the cell reference containing the data with leading zeros. Press Enter to apply the formula. If necessary, use the fill handle to drag the formula down to apply it to additional cells. You can see that the leading zeros are removed from the data in the destination range. Lastly, let's explore a more advanced approach by converting data to numbers using VBA code. This method provides flexibility and automation for handling leading zeros in large datasets. Follow these steps to implement a VBA macro to convert data to numbers and remove leading zeros. Press Alt plus F11 to open the Visual Basic for Applications editor. In the VBA editor window, right-click on any item in the Project Explorer pane. Select Insert and then choose Module to insert a new module into the project. Copy the provided VBA code for converting data to numbers and removing leading zeros. Paste the code into the newly created module. Close the VBA editor window. Press Alt plus F8 to open the Macro dialog box. Select the macro you just created from the list. Click Run to execute the macro. Select the range of cells containing the data with leading zeros. Click OK button. You will see that all leading zeros have been removed in the selected range. If you found this tutorial helpful in managing leading zeros in your Excel data, don't forget to subscribe for more Excel tips and tricks. Thanks for watching.